animatedanatomy.com. Now I will talk about the muscles of the leg. And I will start by explaining the tibialis anterior. The tibialis anterior has the origin on the body of the tibia. It inserts here medially on the cuneiform, medial cuneiform, and it also inserts on the base of the first metatarsal bone. The function of this muscle is the inversion of the foot and also the dorsiflexion of the foot. It is innervated by the peroneal nerve. Then we have this muscle here. It's called the extensor digitorum lungus. The extensor digitorum lungus has the origin on the lateral condyle of the tibia and the superior interosseous membrane. The interosseous membrane is actually the membrane between tibia and fibula. That's where this muscle also originates. The insertion of this muscle is the middle and distal phalanges of toes, of four lateral toes. You can see it here. The function is pretty clear just from the name. You can say that it serves for the extension of lateral four fingers. Now there is one muscle also here and that is actually this muscle because this was the extensor for all four lateral fingers. However, we have the big toe left here. This muscle is called the extensor halitus longus. It has the origin on the middle portion of fibula, that's here, and also on the anterior surface of the interosseous membrane. That's the membrane I explained. It inserts on the base of the distal phalanx of the big toe. The function of this muscle is to extend the big toe. It also assists in a dorsiflexion of the ankle joint and it is also a weak inverter. Then there is one more muscle left in the anterior compartment and that is this muscle here, the right fibularis tertius. The fibularis tertius has the origin on the distal anterior surface of the fibula. It inserts on the dorsal surface of the fifth metatarsal bone here. It serves for the dorsiflexion. However, remember when I said that the tibialis anterior, which inserts medially here, serves for the inversion? Well, this muscle here serves for the eversion, which is a movement of the foot rotating it inwards and not the outwards. And you can see that they're on the opposite sides. Now, the fibularis tertius is innervated by the deep fibular nerve, the extensor digitorum longus and the extensor halitus longus are innervated by the peroneal nerve as well as the tibialis anterior. Now I will talk about the posterior compartment of the leg muscles and I will start by explaining the superficial muscles. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe, or like my video.